a great idea for this is to use it as a reverse peephole so people could amuse themselves while they waited on you to answer the door. Okay, not a great idea. Bow wow, everybody. Today we are treasure junking at the Georgia Mountain Fairgrounds in Hiawassee. And this is their community yard sale event that they have each and every year. And let's see what we can dig up. I mean, figuratively speaking, of course. Now, we came here today to start looking for some small items for our house in Italy. But who knows what we'll find. But I will say that we did get three items that you'll see here in the video and a bonus item that you didn't see that we'll show you here at the end. I did like these birds painted on this a lot. Really nice. And crates are useful for everything. As you know, I love boxes. And I did want that. <laughs> now, this was so unexpected to see a guitar painted with an image of a famous moonshiner, but still very, very neat. Maybe you put moonshine in these. I like those a lot. A little too much for me, but still nice. Now, Ray found something very interesting. I guess this was a duck um, that you would pour something out of. Unfortunately, it had some chips and quacks. <laughs> Sorry. Now this thing was awesome, this shoelace display. It was missing a drawer, but it did have all of the original shoelaces in it. It says 10 cents. It was more than 10 cents. Um, they wanted 50 bucks for it, but it was really neat. Wheaties, never tried them. Probably wouldn't help me athletically, but. Hmm. Now this set of glasses I thought was awesome because my mom had these. And I thought because of the texture on the outside, it would make things taste better. But it was probably just the two cups of sugar she would put in the Kool-Aid. As you know, I love cameras. But in the last video, I bought a small spy camera that I still can't find film for. Please, anybody who knows where I can get spy camera film. Since I love repurposing items, I like it when I find items that people have already done this to. I thought this was kind of a clock because I saw that pendulum looking fork on the front, but it was actually a light. I mean, turn it over, you could see the fixture inside, put a bulb in that. So really neat, I did like it. I don't know why I liked this. Uh, I don't think it was really old. I mean, I guess it could be. Well, oh yeah, I do know why it was a box. And this was kind of like a box. Heavy, heavy cast iron. And all the design on it was just so intricate. It was so neat. And I think this was to put a candle in. And if I could get the door open, which I eventually did, you could see that that's probably what went in there. I loved this thing. It's just beautiful. And then there was this thing. I guess this was a tourist piece, probably from Moscow or somewhere in Russia. Uh, it was copper. It was very brightly colored enamel on the front, so I did like it. And I liked this. The guy offered this to me for like, I can't remember if it was two or three bucks. Just a bunch of motorcycle parts. And this projector. As we talked about in the last video, it'd be really cool to put old images up with something like that. The serving tray, also really, really neat. Ducks, go with that last thing. No quacks. And as I've mentioned before, Ray's grandfather worked for the phone company, so whenever I see anything phone related, I'm immediately drawn to it, as I am that. Ray found the most interesting thing of the day. This is a wood carving of a veterinarian taking care of a dog. Really, really awesome. And this was awesome too. Maybe the veterinarian was gonna take care of the squirrel next. A squirrel nutcracker, who doesn't need that? 
probably a squirrel. They don't they don't need them. Well, Ray was excited to get to more deals. I don't think she needed to be that excited. This was awesome. This was an FS. I guess that stood for not for sale, as I found out, as he told me. But this thing he made when he was a very young person, and I just was captivated by it. And everybody that would pass by just would marvel at the craftsmanship that went into this. Now we're talking free. <laughs> if it's free, it's for me. I don't know why I had to say that. I could have spent forever looking through this very small box because it did have a lot of neat, neat items, a lot of rings. I, Just like anybody else, I guess I'm always looking for treasure. And I'm always thinking that I'll find something that someone else overlooked. But I did like the rings in here. Some of them were very uh, intricate. I'm not saying they were worth anything, but this one specifically, I loved, even though it was squashed. Maybe it was meant to be like that. Now, this was a fun table to look at. I actually read each and every one of those little beer caps. The artwork that goes into something like that is really, really fun. In fact, whoever probably made that table had a lot of fun, at least <laughs> getting all those beer caps. Now, before we left, we decided to tour the fairgrounds. I've been telling Ray about this place. I came here as a kid. My parents loved it here because they had a music festival. And I enjoyed it because there were always people at the cabins and the booths that would show you what life was like a long time ago in the North Georgia mountains. And they would make products that I still remember. Hominy. This was the first place I ever tried hominy. And I don't remember really liking it, but you know, this was the first place and it's a memory and I'm actually gonna try it again because maybe it's better than what I remember. Cider making, now this was the cabin I kept coming back to over and over again. I love apple cider. The only way that that could have been better at that time is if I'd have had it in those chunky textured green glasses that I found earlier on here. So, you know, these are the type of experiences I will always remember coming to places like this as a kid. Where did you go when you were little that left a big impression on you? We'd love to know. It doesn't have to be anything overly exciting because as a kid, we never know what's going to leave that impression on us until we get to be much older and we look back with fond memories. Like apple cider. Hold the hominy. So what did we actually buy? First, the mystery item. Ray paid $2 for this pair of vintage earrings from West Germany. Probably worth $50, but she's just going to wear them. And I think that's fruit on there, or it could be hominy. And I got this free ring. I was so excited about this. I think that that's probably like a black onyx. It's still squashed. And we got a cracking squirrel. So we had a bag of walnuts, and instead of buying a new nutcracker, we thought we'd buy a vintage one, which was a mistake because this thing won't crack anything. Should have bought a hammer. And I got this vintage plaque, and I have no idea why I bought this thing. It's cracked at the bottom. It is copper, it's from Russia. I'm thinking about turning it into a cut flower holder. Let me know if you wanna see a video on me doing that. I promise not to talk about hominy, but since it's hominy, I may have to sing about it. Yo! <laughs>